Alright guys, Rolex here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing. This time I'm actually just going to be showing you how to make your beats more clean, more sharp, more hard hitting, kinda, so they're not, I don't know, it just makes it sound more clean, more sharp, like I said, uh, it's hard to explain, but I'll play the loop that I've got here for you and yeah, we'll get to work after that, so here we go. Okay, so first of all, we're going to reset all the panning knobs because I've already panned it. Uh, so we're going to reset all that. And then, yeah, what we're going to do is, so every every sound kind of has an attack, a decay, sustain, and, and, and release. So if we go to the kick here, this is our kick. So you'll hear it when, you, when I play it, I'll solo it and you'll be able to hear it. So I'm going to go through each step with very... Uh, you know, as in-depth as I can for you guys, so you can, you know, get learn as much and I can help you as much as, you know, possible. So, here's the kick. So, how can we clean this kick up? So, we see there's an envelope here. Now, what we're going to do to this envelope is basically make it short and sharp. So, we're going to do that for the kick, so how do we do this? Well, we click on this and then we'll pull in the attack all the way so it's a very quick attack. This means it's going to hit as soon as we press the button. So as soon as this is triggered, it's instantly played. If we pull the attack up, obviously that's... So that's what that does. A lot of people, a lot of producers don't actually even know what these, these things do. So this will probably be like a pseudo review, well not a pseudo review, but a pseudo tutorial about, you know, ADSR and you know how to use them all. So attack, short attack, clean, sharp, hit, like boom, as soon as we want it, just like that. And then hold again, hold, uh, it doesn't really work too much for the kick because the kick's already, the kick's got a sample rate, so the kick goes do, like that's a kick. What hold will do basically means if we hold the button, if we hold, you know, what we're pressing on, it's going to hold that. So if we do it on the 808, for example, the 808 will hold if the sample is long enough. It will hold for as long as the sample plays. So the kick, obviously, you can't do that. So we're just going to pull the kick right in, just like this. Decay. So if we pull the decay right in, it means... So the sustain is... It's hard to explain what each of them does, but... If the sustain is up, you can see there's a bit here, so it's a shape. So if you have this shape, it's going to go boof, and then it's going to, so if we pull this in, right in, release it, nothing will, will hear nothing here. <laughs> we should hear nothing. We should hear nothing, I don't know why that's still working. Oh, it's because the same sustain is still up. So this is, this is all, uh... It's making me sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, but what you're wanting to have is the sustain all the way up. The release, I guess it doesn't really matter, but the decay, short. So what we're needing here is to look like this. So sustain down like this and make it sharp like this. Now because it's just a kick, the decay being as short as this is what is going to determine the length of it. As long as everything else is down, we're wanting a sharp triangle like this. So the kick hits and then leaves as soon as possible. Now if you pull the decay up, you're going to hear a bit of do, like a bit of thud after it, but that's not what we're looking for. If we want our beats more clean, more sharp, pull the release in as well, make it a sharp kick, boom, boom. Now 808, this is a bit more complicated, but same principle, uh, we'll be able, I'll be, I will be able to go over this, you know, for you a bit better. So the hold, if we hit this 808, it goes and it will play out forever or as long as the sample is. So the sample is quite long, you'll see it plays for maybe like 2-3 seconds. So what we're going to do is activate the envelope, reset everything. So if we reset everything, we're going to see, you know, that's what it's at. Now we're wanting a quick attack again, so it hits as soon as we press it. 
which it does, which is good. And the hold, now the hold is going to... So if we press it, boom, boom, it drizzles out. But the hold, if we hold the button, if we press it, it st still drizzles out. But if we hold the button, just like it says, it will play it infinitely. Or as long as the sample lasts. So we hold it, let go, it will stop. Hold it. Now, if we hold it and we want it to trickle out, this is where the release and the sustain come in. So if we pull the sustain all the way down and the release down and the decay down, as soon as we hold it, it'll still hold, but we let it go, it'll stop. So hold, stop. This is what it looks like, it's a box. Hold, stop. So why is this good? Why does this, why do you even need to worry about this? Because you can do things like this, so I'll let you hear it here. So, so it won't drag out. Now you can make some really cool patterns with this. And this is, again I'll show you, hold all the way up, everything else down. Now, if we want it to decay out, means it'll decay over a longer time. And now, yeah, you'll see here, it actually doesn't, we can't really control it now, because it just, this, it drizzles out, it goes vroom, and it plays on. So yeah, sharpen that down, keep the sustain down, keep the decay down, so we have a nice sharp 808. So already, our kick and our 808 are hitting hard, and they're, yeah, they're more cleaner, so they don't take up. So if we have the short samples like this, they're not gonna take up as much space in the mix either. So you're not gonna have dragged out samples being played over one another. So if we do it with a kick, if we add the kick in the, the snare and the clap, now you see how quick and sharp that is. You see how good that sounds. Dun dun. There's not like dun dun or like dun dun or like a decay, which you can do with delay. But again, we've not activated the envelope here, so it's still a bit, you know, dragged out. Now let's make this tighter. Let's make it sharper. I'll reset it again just for just to show you. Now, see it, we don't want that. We don't want a snare that just goes shh. So again, we pull the attack in, pull the hold in, we pull the decay in to about here, so it's short, turn the sustain down, release down. And then it, again with the clap, we'll do the same with that. Now the clap's already quite short, but we're just going to add it again. Do the same for that. Actually, I think maybe a decay on the clap might sound a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, the sharp, the clap's already sharp, so if we maybe pull the clap in and then maybe add a little bit of decay to the snare. Yeah, see that gives it a bit more atmosphere because I think there's a reverb on it. So, yeah, that makes it sound a bit better. So, and again, uh, the now the envelope is on this, but if we turn the envelope off, see it plays out. It goes. But again, if we put this. Like a lot more clearer. You see how, like things like this can completely transform, completely transform your production style and um, how things sound and how clean and sharp your mix sounds. So again, with a hat, I mean, <laughs> hats are already very short decay. So we can we can even shorten that even more because why not? So we'll pull this decay in until it's like like as as sharp as we can get it. No reverb, no nothing. Now we'll play this again. Then we'll pull it to care and then pull it in just to show you guys what it sounds like. It's 
Sounds good, doesn't it? Now, again, this is another one, but add, add that again. And so, yeah, we can make it play like, so if we wanted it to go like, so it goes, that's too long. So we want it to go dun dun and like make it sharp. Like that's why we pull it again. So we'll adjust it as we hear it. Perfect. So it goes. So we've adjusted the decay. We have adjusted the de decay there. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking for some reason. We adjusted the decay there, um, so it lines up perfectly with the clap. So it goes like like so. It's not dragging out. Now, this honestly, this is going to help you so much. Uh, if you can manipulate each sound in each perk to kind of complement the next one. Like so, like I said here, we're gonna we make the this go so it doesn't drag on, and it's so much sharper and cleaner. And again, just another pair. Now I'm going to actually pull the shift in a bit more to make it play a bit more, and then turn it down, and then adjust accordingly. This is quite quiet. Turn it on. Perfect. Okay, now we'll just do the same again for this and put in like so. And the rim as well. Again, sustain down, decay very short. Now I'd rather this was out. And the bell, yeah, too much decay on that. Now we add a little bit of the shift there, so that's fine. Now with some piano and sound, and yeah, you'll be able to hear how, how clean this will sound. It'll sound great. Now we can also do that with uh, keys and stuff. So if we just grab a quick, uh, let's just get like the most common, um, the most common bell in the world. Okay, so we'll hear it here. But 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 it's too too much. So again, if we can transfer that with this knowledge without the without the ADSR without this little um, triangle. We're going to be able to, yeah, manipulate everything in the DAW, like even sounds like this. So turn the delay and reverb off just so we can have some space. So again, what did I say? Sustain down, release down. And then decay. See, it stops any dragging out any room, like any stuff that you don't need. And we can show you here with delay. Like that's how people get that effect. They have a very, no sustain, no release, and a very short decay. I don't know, let's just put it in and be able, we'll be able to see how it sounds.
Now, listen to how this will sound if we had like all the reverb on and the k the K up and everything. I mean, listen, this will sound a lot more cluttered and you know bad. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully that helped you guys. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully that will, you know, improve your production, um, even if it's just a little bit. And if not, you know, as long as you learned something, as long as I, was, I could help you, then, you know, I feel good about this. I think, I think it was, a, you know, very good to show you guys something that will help you a lot with production. And, I mean, yeah, it was quite fun to do. So take care guys thank you very much for watching i genuinely do appreciate it remember to subscribe like this video share it with your friends you know any producer friends you might have and yeah have a great day thank you for watching